Welcome back to Stick War 3. There's some interesting changes happening. We have a new update on the beta testing branch. As is per usual, everything you see is subject to change, especially if we find any exploits. And I found something that I thought was pretty cool. Now there's been an update where basically the free spirit units that you can spawn, which right now are the Sword Wrath spawn and the Zombie spawn, is you can actually upgrade them now. So what I'm gonna wanna do is, well, we're gonna get rid of the Tesla coil. What we need is some pretty solid units. I think zombies and archers is all we're gonna need. That and miners. And we might wanna spell, maybe light rage could be good, but we're not planning on using it too much. So maybe it would be good to have like a fallback unit because we're gonna have a ton of gold. So we need a very expensive gold unit that also doesn't cost a lot of crystal. Right, no, I guess we could have a giant. Why not? We might want one, but essentially how this is gonna play is we're gonna try to 3D print units for free. Blazing Barbarians, oh, biscuits, I hate Blazing Barbarians. We're gonna get one Archer, one Miner, and we are actually going to convert both of these guys to Crystal. And with our first Archer, we're gonna try to take the middle ground. And with our first batch of crystal, 100 crystal, we are gonna buy the zombie. All right, okay. Mr. Archer, go to the middle. And then once we get this crystal, where is it? There's 50, there's 100. Okay, there it is, good. Oh, he pulled back, we're gonna get a zombie. So basically what this does is we're gonna be at level one. So spawning a, do uh, a dead zombie, or spawn a dead every five seconds while holding the center tower. That seems reasonable enough. And then we're gonna wanna get these guys on gold so that we can start producing a decent economy. So now by holding this tower every five seconds, we should be pumping out a zombie. There it is, there's our first one. Okay, we're all, so we're getting paid to print out units. That's the way I see it. Now we're gonna try to get both of them out. Oh wow, so at level one, he's pumping out one dude every five seconds, right? So basically they've got flamers. <laughs> they got flaming archers over there, but I feel like, you know, that'll be easy enough. Now these guys, oh, this spawns a Spearton? I thought it was a Sword Wrath. Okay, that's juicy. That's what we want. And then at some point we're gonna need another archer up here to help hold the line, and why not get two? So there we go, like this is pretty crystal intensive. Uh-oh, we might lose it. We might lose it. Oh, they retreated? Oh, that was really dumb of them. That was very dumb of them. Let's get a second archer up here and a few zombies just to kind of help hold this area. We got very lucky that the air was like, oh man, we're losing. So now we'll pump out a Spearton and a zombie. And these aren't fully upgraded just yet. All right, I think we can cut the zombies, but beating three fire archers is gonna be tricky. There he is. Oh man, the Spearton's are so fast, but they're like ethereal units. You can kind of see them glistening and glowing. If this is like player versus player, you're like, okay, I gotta figure this out, right? So if we upgrade the zombie, because it doesn't look like this one can be upgraded. I think what would be cool is if you upgrade, like if you have the basic level, you get a Sword Wrath. But if you upgrade it from that, you could get a Spearton or maybe an Archidon. And then maybe the level above that, it then gets you Spearton. If like Archidon was the tier two. Yeah, but you see how we're like just rolling in gold right now? Okay. If that's the issue, then what we need is more crystal. And then we're just going to save up for a giant. And we're basically just harassing the enemy. And by harassing them, oh my god, we're defeating them. <laughs> this is working far better than I expected it to. Like, it could have been build order. And there was a critical moment where they could have come back and, like, really, really hurt me. And probably taken the middle ground and really put... They may have defeated me, but at the very least, they would have delayed me. Right? But all that I'm seeing now is us upgrading to the third tier. Now it still says spawn and dead every five seconds, but there's gotta be there's gotta be something to these guys. All right, so they have 50 health and seven damage, right? Maybe they get more potent. Man, look at this Spearton, running through the bubble shield, stabbing the Merrick in the face with a spear. You don't want to be that guy. You know what this strategy would be really good is like I'm gonna refine it right after this, and we're gonna try it again. Obviously, we're gonna have different enemies, but basically the uh, upgrade where like we're not. Oh, I don't think we're gonna. We'll get rid of. KS units get poison, and we're gonna add the bank one where you just get more and more gold, and we're gonna leave the giant in, so hopefully we could get like multiple, multiple giants. Every 20 seconds. I'm very curious what some of these other ones are. Yeah, so at this point, actually, we don't need any more crystal. So we can queue up two giants, almost three, by like, what time? We're four, four and a half minutes in. We could have got these guys much, much earlier if we wanted to, and maybe we should have. Giants are chaos, so imagine them with poison damage. You know what? 
Let's do it. I mean, there's no reason not to. What else are we going to spend our money on? We're already overwhelming the enemy army with units we can't control. We are printing out unit. Now, I'm trying to think, and you guys can probably help me out. Like, what would be a good way to counter this strategy? Eclipsers could work, but we do have archers guarding the middle. Not a whole lot of them, but you could print out more. You could make more. And honestly, what we need for the next video is we need you guys to leave some challenges, some build order challenges for the next episode of Stick War 3. I can't spend my gold fast enough. All right, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. The unit pops out and he, oh, what? what? Did you see that? We went from 50 health to 200 health to 400 health. It upgrades the zombies health. They become tanks. I think it, they should visually look different too. Okay, the strategy is proving to be very, very dangerous and very, very viable. Now let's try to make it even better doing the things that we just talked about. All right, where's that bank? Oh, if we get the bank, we take off vampirism yeah so i think at that point like do you really want that and we're using archers do we want fire arrows or maybe ice arrows well to slow them down hmm it could be beneficial all units gain 15 percent lifesteal i'm gonna change it for fire arrows no 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 frost arrows to slow them down and we're gonna go to my next favorite map seaside so here it is again blazing barbarians what we need to do is first zombie to take the middle both these guys on crystal to get that first 100 dollars batch and then after that first zombie we'll go two miners and then another two miners i mean two zombies actually didn't last time we got an archer right so if we lose this one it's probably because we didn't have a more powerful unit and also like you take the middle ground much, much slower. So maybe Sword Wrath would be a good way to complement this build. There's gonna be so many ways to do it. Okay, and we need to get going on that. And at this point, I feel like we're pretty good. You're on gold. Yes, you are. Fantastic. Yeah, and they've taken the middle with a Fire Archer. Okay, I canceled that. If we could take this without him dying to fire, then we'll be able to spawn the Ethereal unit. Oh my God, and we're getting healing. Oh, -hoo! they shouldn't have retreated again. Maybe the AI is a little bit too passive. All right, but I think two archers should be able to cover it. Should be able to help defend this long enough, right? Our first one's popping out about right now. We're going to upgrade to tier two. And then we're going to wait just a wee bit here to get that archer. Gold's a little bit slow, but now we're going to get the 20 passive gold from holding the middle. I say it's passive gold, but if you think about it, it's active gold. You got to hold the middle. You got to defend it. But I guess it, it also provides a little bit of a healing aura too. Whoa. These guys doing push-ups while yeah. zombies are dying in front of them. Okay. So in order to... What? Where did that arrow come from? There was another arrow that was fired from behind the base, right? Are they on defense? Their miners are on defense. But nobody else is. That's super weird. All right. Yeah, but so the zombies, I don't know. The AI needs to be updated to counter zombies. But obviously, like, this is being designed, like, for player versus player testing. So it's going to be far more dynamic. I wish... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We don't have a Tesla coil. But now my archers can kind of get in it. And we've got ice arrows, right? Don't we have ice arrows? All right, we need this one. Whoa, whoa boys. Stay... It's to hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the freaking line. Now we're going to get the spear tin, and then right after that, we're going to go back to upgrading our zombies. So this zombie, look at it. 200 health now because he's level two. So they're much harder to kill. Yeah, they need to visually look different. Oh, this is just great. And I think what we can do at this point is convert more guys to crystal duty and pump out two more because we can easily hold this and we're going to have spear tins popping out. And those things are very difficult to stop. If you allow this strategy to work, you're going to have a bad time to against it because these units are free <laughs> hey look crazy j just came online that's the man the myth the legend that is so cool yeah so i, I think it's very safe to say that this is working very well i do want to get 400 hit point zombies i feel like we're like a necromancer who just found like a way to like give zombies so much health like you know basically make abominations you have like regular zombies and then through like dark magic or evolution and stuff like that like you could create some of the crazier strands and types of zombies like i don't even need my archers man they're just there to hold the 3d printer i love it i like how there's more impetus on like taking the center point in stick war 3 versus well there was no middle ground in stick war legacy the last time you really saw a middle ground was stick war 2 i miss that game i miss flash games 
What Flash games do you wish could be brought back? Man, I cannot wait to share with you the other project I'm working on. Obviously, there's Bot Wars and Bot Wars is out, but I've got another project, which honestly, it's more similar to this than it is Bot Wars. So if you're excited for that, let me know. Let's build a let's build a giant. Man, this one takes a long time. So it doesn't increase their damage at all, just their health, which is really helpful if the enemy is made up mostly of fire archers. So, as we get to the conclusion of this episode of Stick War 3, I want you guys to let me know and I'll show you what we can do here, right? Basically, look at all this. We go to edit army and then this is all the stuff. But units, there's no new unit. But we do have like the champions and the king with the wizard, the giant, some of the chaos units, the Merrick, the Eclipse, or who has- Look at this animation. It is so cool. Toxic Dead, which I haven't used in quite a while. And then you can do upgrades, any of these. Enchantments, you can only use one of these at a time. They are mutually exclusive. And then you have a bunch of spells. What should we do? What would be the challenge build for the next episode? Oh look, first win of the day reward. 100 experience. One to three common items, one to two uncommon items. What are these items? I think they might be these, but I'm not entirely certain. Oh, these are all locked. So I can give a red flag to customize it. My profile pick, it's... I'm locked to... I like that one. And my wall, I've got a cool wall. And then the voice... Oh, I can't preview this. Now, I, I have another question. Crazy J was asking if he, if I wanted to make some voice lines. That'd be kind of cool if there was a Baron voice line like, Command the fort! Or, hi man, command the fort. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, anything is possible. So if you guys do want to see more Stick War 3, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And give your challenges for the next video in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.